Hello and welcome back to our FCS Dynasty in NCAA Football 2006. Today is the start of bowl season and we're going to go ahead and simulate the computer games and then get into our first game of the night which is going to be the Northern Colorado Bears and they're going to be taking on the Brown Bears. And our second matchup is going to go and be the Southern Utah Thunderbirds taking on the 8-5 and five South Dakota State Jackrabbits. That'll just be a game where I commentate. I'm looking forward to that one. Should be a fun matchup between our two schools, two of our 12 schools, that is. Let me go ahead and post this in the Discord, and we will get right into the action, folks. Only eight games left in the season. By the time we're done, we will have played 140 games all together this year. First game of the night is the Insight Bowl. Of course, Northern Colorado. Just mentioned that. This is the second straight season that Northern Colorado has played in the Insight Bowl. They won it last year. I believe they beat San Diego State, if I'm not mistaken. It's been quite a while since that bowl season ended. But we are all shared in the Discord. Do not forget to slap that like button, folks. Who we got in the chat? We got Tyler Rocky. We got Tom Schaefer, Matthew Lee, and the Demon 166 is in there. What's going on, everybody? Hope you guys are having a great week. Well, a great weekend, I should say. Just close this really quick. Make sure the stream strength is good. Open up the chat on my phone. And we about to get this thing popping. Who else we got? Marvin Joseph is in the chat. Head coach for the Jacksonville Dolphins. And Tyler Rocky, of course, said that. All right, let's get it. Take a look at the Sports Illustrated quick, because we did not do that in our last game, or at the end of our last game when we took a look at the nation. The fortunate one, Savannah State is glad to have the bowl rankings in their corner. Now, of course, there was some controversy. Tulane gets snubbed in the latest bowl rankings. A lot of people thought that they did, but as you can see, they beat... Uh, Savannah State beat Tulane by .006 in the poll average to claim that number two spot and a shot at the national championship game. So I'm not sure. Like, you can see the numbers. Let's see. 105 in the media poll, or 105, and only 28 so I don't know <laughs> how exactly that works because as if you add up the numbers for the coaches poll and the media poll clearly Tulane has the higher number I, I don't understand that but we did the Heisman the Heisman winner is Mr. Highlight if you are in the discord there is a special section in there if you just look up season two award winners you can see all the award winners and there's also a section for all Americans I will go through and post all the the, uh, the all-conference players for each conference. Let's take a look at the bowl games. I know you guys are interested in that. We didn't see all of them. Sun Belt versus Conference USA in the New Orleans Bowl. That's the first bowl game of the season. Tennessee Tech and Morgan State. The Bears, of course, allowed over 100 points against Savannah State. Buffalo and Rice, that should be a good game. Texas State and San Diego State. Stephen F. Austin versus Furman. Navy and Eastern Kentucky, New Mexico State and Weber State, Boise State and Central Michigan in the NPC Computers Bowl. So the Broncos go 11-0, and and they play in a completely worthless bowl game. That, <laughs> that is rough. Big Geo in the chat. What's going on, man? Nevada and Ball State in the Motor City Bowl. Georgia Southern with the quarterback of the year. Uh, Kyle Parker, I believe his name is, and they're going to be taking on Western Carolina. There's the Insight Bowl that we'll be seeing next. Brown and Northern Colorado, 8-3 versus 7-5. Sam Houston State and Akron in the MasterCard Alamo Bowl. The Meineke Car Care Bowl is Northeastern versus Ohio. Colorado State versus Southeastern in the Houston Bowl. New Mexico versus Western Michigan. In the Emerald Bowl, that should be a good matchup. I got the Lobos winning that one. Double Stack Rivers in the chat. What's going on, man? 
This is our next game of the night. Southern Utah, 10-2 and two versus 8-5 and five, South Dakota State in the Holiday Bowl. That should be a fun game. I'm looking forward to that one. Eastern Michigan and Air Force in the Music City Bowl. Cal Poly and Utah State in the Sun Bowl. So Cal Poly 10-2, and two, and they get a pretty rough bowl game, just like Southern Utah did, both 10-2 and two schools. And UNLV versus UTEP in the Liberty Bowl. Fresno State and Bryant get a rematch from last season's national title game in the Chick-fil-A Peach Bowl. Prairie View A&M versus Northern Iowa in the Outback Bowl. Alcorn State versus North Dakota State. That should be a fun game. Alcorn State has two receivers with 97 and 98 speed. So I'm not sure if North Dakota State has enough speed in that secondary to keep up with them. I just, I don't know. <laughs> it's going to be tough, but their ground attack should be pretty good against the Braves' defense. Princeton and William and Mary in the Gator Bowl. I believe last season it was Princeton and Savannah State, and I just dubbed it the, the Tiger Bowl. Tennessee State versus Youngstown State in the Capital One Bowl. That should be a fun game as well. UC Davis and Montana in the Rose Bowl. Montana, Big, Ch Big Ten champs are the only team that beat Dayton this season. And, of course, UC Davis, the Pac-10 champions over Southern Utah and Cal Poly. All those schools went 10-2. and two. The Sugar Bowl, VMI, and Jacksonville. And Tulane and Penn in the Orange Bowl. And the final bowl game of the season is Savannah State taking on Dayton. That should be just a great matchup. Dayton's ferocious defense versus the high-powered offense of Savannah State, even without their starting quarterback, Jeremy Carroll. Ray Senga in the chat. Rocky Clearwater. What's going on, folks? All right, let's take a look at Brown's stats for the season so far as we head into the final game of the season for both of these schools. They are without their starting quarterback, Mike Brown, who had 21 touchdowns, 12 picks, almost 3,000 yards. So we'll be seeing Derek Atkins, who has only attempted 21 passes this whole season, and he's only completed 10 of them, but three of them were touchdowns. Now let's see their running game. They don't really have much of a running game. Jesse Harris leads the team. 540 yards, 5 touchdowns. And Jared Miller, 397 on 115 carries for 3 touchdowns. That's a little bit rough. But their passing attack might do decent here tonight. Adam Sharp, junior receiver, 1,342 yards and 10 touchdowns for him. And their center has allowed 10 sacks. That is atrocious. Tackles for loss. They got two guys with 21 tackles for loss, but one of them is injured. It will not be in this ball game. Zach Sandlin in the chat. What's going on, brother? Jarmel Lewis. Appreciate you guys all coming and checking out the bowl game. Nobody has more than two picks on this team. Seven forced fumbles for Kenny Walker. Oh my goodness. Tell me he won an award. Ah, first team all biggies. Not bad. Bunch of players with three fumbles recovered. They have a block for Trenton Martin, a safety for Matt Randolph. No defensive touchdowns. Their kicker is god awful. Oh my goodness. No kick returns for touchdowns. No punt returns for touchdowns. Let's get it, folks. The Insight Bowl, Northern Colorado, taking on Brown Bears. That was a nice game right there. 29 28. Florida International beats Towson, and they finish 11 1 on the season. Wow. That is a fantastic game. And there it is. They won it in the fourth quarter there. Let's see if they had the come from behind win. No. Yes, they did. My goodness. They scored a touchdown with 15 seconds left to win it. Outstanding. Simulate the rest of these bowl games. The sports bowl. Uh, Morgan State <laughs> wins it. 25-20. Morgan State allowed over 100 points to Savannah State this season. And they win a bowl game. Rice beats the Buffalo Bulls 34-22 to in the GMAC Bowl. Jay Sears in the chat. How you doing? Don't think I've seen your name in the chat before. Appreciate you stopping by. San Diego State thumps Texas State 48-7 to in the Poinsettia Bowl. Stephen F. Austin and Furman goes to overtime. And Stephen F. Austin gets it. 36-29 win in the Fort Worth Bowl. Navy and Eastern Kentucky, and the midshipmen win that one by 15. That was the Las Vegas Bowl. And New Mexico State and Weber State in the Hawaii Bowl, and that was a landslide victory right there, 49-7. to Not even close for the Wildcats. 
Towson is in here? Absolutely. Tom, they're FCS, brother. How do you not notice, my guy? All right, here we go, folks. Let's get it. All right. Of course, they're going to simulate some games. Let's go back down and see what those scores were. Boise State finishes 12-0 and after beating Central Michigan 41-22 in the MPC Computers Bowl. Ball State destroys Nevada 52-26. And Georgia Southern finishes the season 10-2 and out of the Sun Belt Conference with a 38-28 victory in the Independence Bowl over Western Carolina. And now we are going to get this thing done. Let's go. Northern Colorado, Brown Bears. It's a battle of the Bears tonight in the Insight Bowl. The Bears won the Insight Bowl last season. See if they can repeat that. Darius Mitchell, 80 yards away from 1,000 on this season. Bully Cooper needs 20 tackles. Can he get it? That would be insane. <laughs> Looking forward to the Bear Bowl. Should be a, pla a classic. Absolutely, man. I've been looking forward to this one, too. Brown is a pretty solid school, so should be a fun game. And we're going with the blue unis tonight. I probably wear the yellow ones a little bit too much for Northern Colorado, but they're just so slick. All right. We'll be seeing the Bears' defense first. And a nice kickoff by freshman kicker Johnny Ligurski. And freshman All-American Jack Marius tacked their tracks on the kickoff right there. Couldn't get the tackle. And let's go defense. Let's get it. All righty. Bully Cooper, fantastic talent. And strong safety. And they're going to go play action here to start off. Left side caught by Smith. Uh-oh. That is not a good start. He's gone. There's no way. Jada Streets saves the touchdown at the one-yard line. Wow. What a play. Regear Productions in the chat. No Regear head coach of the Southern Utah Thunderbirds. That's our next game of the night. And Tactera Tracks just, <laughs> just got beat on that play. A little bit of a freshman mistake to start the game off. But two-star freshman halfback for Northern Colorado. Saves the touchdown. Jada Streets. That was an 81-yard bomb. And it actually is Brown, so their starting quarterback is back from injury. And a nice stop. And I believe that was Eric Tavares on the stop. No gain for Harris. Just no Bears are winning this game. <laughs> you don't say. I don't know what gave that away. Second and goal now. From the one, can we continue to stop him here? Tight end around. Oh, I couldn't get there. Touchdown for the Brown Bears. Boy, oh boy. And luckily, I got some, some help for Northern Colorado for the in-season recruiting, because they, they needed it. We are up to 20 viewers on the stream. We broke our stream record uh, on our last stream, the ACC championship game. Was it the ACC championship game? Yeah, I believe so. But we got up to 26 viewers on that stream, which broke our record of 18. So I appreciate the continued support from everybody. It means a lot. Here's Darius Mitchell on a nice return. Oh, he breaks loose. Darius Mitchell. He's gone. Touchdown, Northern Colorado. No flags on the field. Let's get it. Let's go. That's how you answer right back. Northern Colorado, the Discord pick em favorite here tonight. 21 votes to 5. If you haven't voted on all the other games yet in the Pick'em, in the Discord, go ahead and do so. There's still time. Boy, oh boy. What an answer. Brown's fight song is one of the best. It's pretty good. All right. Let's see if our defense can muster up a stop here now. 
as Ligurski kicks it into the end zone. Harris on the return, and he is dropped at the 15-yard line. All right. Got the deflection with Bully Cooper. One of the Colorado's blue unis are sexier than the gold ones. I don't know, man. I love those yellow ones. They're so nice. They're so clean. Halfback pass right here. That's why you want to run the man coverage. Get out of here. If I was running zone coverage, I would have had no clue that was happening. All right, third down and 17. Now we'll run some zone. We went from 20 viewers to 12. You guys, you make me hurt. You hurt my heart. But I still love you. All right, let's go. Defense, let's go. Deep shot. Oh, deflected by Bully Cooper. Let's go. He's got some range on him. Let's get it. Nice stop for the defense. Brings up fourth down and 17. Let's see if we can get a block. We've come close a couple times this season. Not with the Bears, of course. Oh, if Tavares jumped, he might have been close. Mitchell on for a punt return now, and he's going to get it up to midfield. Three punt returns for touchdowns on the season for him. Let's we'll see if we can get the ground game popping here. Zach Sandlin still here. Appreciate you, buddy. Alex Acosta, thanks for stopping by. Have I checked out the new XFL? I have. And I'm liking it so far. He's double stacked. Rivers running a man over. He gets close to the sticks. Jay Washington in the chat. How you doing? And we're back up to 17 viewers. <laughs> Aiden Davis in at quarterback right here for the Bears. He is the number two guy, the freshman. Here's double stack Rivers in the open field inside the 25 yard line. Another good run from him. And he continues to move the chains for Northern Colorado. One of the best rushing attacks in the country for the Bears. Darrell Stats has had a rough time throwing the football in his career. But he hasn't really needed to. Here's Jada Street still looking for his first career touchdown. And he's got it. His first career touchdown run for Jada Streets. And that was a 23-yarder. And Northern Colorado takes the lead here in the Bear Bowl. <laughs> Thug Shitsu, what's going on, man? Fantastic drive for Northern Colorado. Just a few runs, and the Brown Bears had no answer. Yeah, it's only been one week for the XFL, but their new the new rules and stuff that they implemented and like the sped up game, it's just so much better. I love the kickoff. I love the extra point thing that they got going. It's all pretty great. I haven't really seen anything bad about it. Wow, that was a nice move. Uh-oh. Woo! Harris almost broke free. A lot better product than the AAF. Yes, sir. Surely is. And Vince McMahon has bankrolled this league for the next, I think, three or four seasons. He has enough money to pay for. For every team. So we're going to see more than one season this go around for the XFL. Oh, this should have been a pick. Come on, Bully. Put your hands on that. Kickoff is pretty good. Yes, it is. The 25-second clock is amazing. Absolutely. That's why a lot of people get bored with the NFL because it just takes so long. It's like, why is it a four-hour game? Like, it's only 60 minutes in football. It should not take that long to play. Deep shot, right side, incomplete. Jada Street's on the coverage. He does it all. Defense, 
Yeah, I like the instant replay thing as well. The guy using the Xbox uh, controller was amazing. <laughs> and it's intercepted by Deacon Cooper. And there's a flag for holding, so the ball is ours. Deacon Cooper with the pick. Let's go. I'm sure that the NFL is going to adopt some of those those rules and some of, you know, like the innovations and stuff that they have for replay and just, you know, the game overall. They're going to take some of it away from it. And here's Tyler Rocky. Oh, Tyler Rocky with a juke and a spin and he's gone. Touchdown, Northern Colorado. Let's go. 53-yard touchdown run for the Whiteberry Sanders. Let's get it. That was nasty moves right there. My goodness. Doing an NCAA 04 Dynasty right now. I like it. I have one on the channel as well. It's going to be uh, coming back here after this season is over of the FCS Dynasty. It is with the Nor um, North Carolina Tar Heels, if I can learn how to speak. And we're up to 22 viewers on the stream now. You guys are amazing. If you don't have a player in this series and you want one, we got 12 schools to choose from here in the FCS Dynasty. All you got to do to create a recruit is join our Discord community. I'll get you set up in there. It's the offseason. It's almost here, folks, and you can get your college football career started. The link for the Discord is in the description below, or you can just go on the main part of my channel and click on Discord. First down and 10 now for Brown, and they're reeling. It's 21-7, and oh my goodness. Yeah, NFL will probably keep the extra point the same, 100%. I don't see them changing that. Kickoff, they should definitely adopt for sure. Pass right side to Richardson, and he's got about six yards on the reception. All right. And here is Perkins. Oh boy. That was a bad missed tackle for me. All right. Four wide receiver cell. Let's go with some nickel. And we're going to blitz Eric Tavares here. See if he can't get in there and disrupt the play. I don't know how he got past me. My goodness. New kickoff should yield more returns and runbacks and fewer touchbacks. I hope so. Because when the NFL switched up their kickoff rule, it it negated people like Devin Hester. Like that's pretty much what it did. Like you're getting rid of possible Hall of Fame careers because you don't want kickoffs to even happen. Imagine. If they had that rule for their kickoffs, like their current NFL kickoff rule, if they had that for the entirety of Devin Hester's career, he would not have been the same player. And that would be unfortunate. One of my favorite players of all time, Miami Hurricane. And he should definitely be in the Hall of Fame. Brown Bears putting together a nice drive here. I'm going to hand it off to Harris. He gets clocked in the backfield. Right, second down and 11 now. And the running back is wide open over here. I can't see him. And that's face mask. Unbelievable. Face mask. Thank you. 
Yeah, Tom, we went up to 22 viewers as well, man. Stream's been popping off lately, and I'm loving it. Channel getting closer to 900 subscribers as well. I think we need 13 more. That would be huge. Here's a screen pass. Uh-oh. Tech there tracks. Can't break free. That's a touchdown for Smith. He set up the last touchdown. And now his quarterback rewards him. And that was just such an easy screen pass. Poor Jada Streets. Two-star halfback out there playing some corner just because of his tremendous speed. He didn't stand a chance against those blockers. All right, we've got a barn burner here in the first quarter. Five total touchdowns. And it is 21 to 14 with just over a minute left here in the first quarter. Mitchell has a kick return for a touchdown tonight and gets up to the 28-yard line this time. See what the offense can do again here. And we're up to 23 viewers now. I love you all. You're all amazing. See if we can break our stream record of 26. That would be phenomenal. Chip Morris. Oh, he had a step on him. Oh, incomplete. That's unfortunate. Morris had a step on him, and then somehow the corner got back in front of him. And it kind of messed that play up for us. And here's Darius Mitchell. He needs 80 yards tonight to get 1,000 on the season. This might be a good one here up to the 25. All right, he needs 34 more yards tonight for a thousand. So much speed, just runs right past the safety. Gets pushed twice, <laughs> finally goes out of bounds. All right, let's see what we can do here. First and 10 from the 26. And Eric Tavares is in the open field. And he gets it down to the 12-yard line inside the red zone. Ground attack is too nasty for Northern Colorado. They have three All-American offensive linemen on this squad. Sebastian Hernandez, their center, he won the Remington Award. Here's Gavin Brady, the fullback, getting a reception. And break it tackles, picks up eight yards. And Will Jefferson won the Offensive Lineman of the Year Award for the Bears. And Mike Heath, the left tackle, is not too shabby as well. Second down and two from the four. Darius Mitchell back in there at halfback. And Darius Mitchell gets the first down, can't get it into the end zone. What a hit by the middle linebacker, my goodness. And that's going to be the final play of the first quarter. Northern Colorado Bears on top, 21-14 here in the Insight Bowl. Northern Colorado 7-5, Brown at 8-3 this season. Running good tonight? Absolutely. I don't think Brown has any idea what to do against this ground attack. This will go from the one-yard line. Eric Tavares punches it in for the touchdown. And Northern Colorado now has a two-touchdown lead over Brown. The Bear Bowl with a lot of electric plays so far tonight. It's been great. Freshman kicker, Johnny Ligurski, on for the extra point, and it is good. 28-14 after a sixth place, 72-yard drive. Took just over a minute off the clock. 
We are one second into the second quarter. You love seeing a good ground attack, Zach? Well, you guys of Seattle have a great ground attack. Unfortunately, you just couldn't throw the football tonight against us. Talking about the SFL, of course, if, in case you guys didn't know what I was talking about. Zach knows. All right, let's play some defense, shall we? Who do I got for the Heisman? Rocky Clearwater or Tyler Rocky? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't think either of you guys are going to win it next season. Because next season we're still going to have uh, most of these players. Uh, maybe in a couple seasons we'll see one of you guys get up there and win it. That's right side. Wide open is Harold, and he's got the first down for Brown. Mike Brown, 137 yards and a touchdown here tonight. <laughs> Who's going to win? The Bears. <laughs> Yeah, bears. Love those skits. Yeah, he's talking about in the future, Demon. Pass. Incomplete. Overthrown. Intended for the tight end. Holy Cooper, number nine on the coverage. Brings up second down and ten now for Brown. on the ground. Uh-oh. Nice tackle by Double Stack Rivers. Third down and nine. They're going to come out with two tight ends set here. I'm going to go man coverage. Cooper Brothers are beasts. Absolutely. They're both going to be first round draft picks in the EFL for sure. They might just go back to back. Pass left side. Jada Streets can't get there, but he is fast enough to take Smith out of bounds. Smith, 135 yards receiving. My goodness. He thinks safeties should be worth more points. <laughs> How many points, Tom? Let's say four. How about four points? That would definitely change the game a little bit. All right, first down for Brown. He passed left side, and Tech Theratrax got turned around. Luckily, the receiver never saw it. Offense has been stagnant this year. Yeah, I know that, man. The Storm's offense has been a little rough for about a, a season and a half, but luckily we're finally getting it fixed. Harris on the carry, left side, runs a man over, picks up three or four yards. I'm going to go with nickel. Cover two, man. Let's get it. Third down and seven for Brown. They are three of five tonight on third downs. Oh, incomplete. Thought I was going to have a pick right there. Defense does get the stop, though, and they are going to punt the football away. I'm going to go with a safe return here since they're at our 40-yard line. I don't know if they're going to actually punt it here or not, but you never know. High snap for Williams. And I'm definitely calling for a fair catch here with Deacon Cooper at about the 13-yard line. Chaos driven in the chat. What's going on, brother? Push down to 10 now, Northern Colorado. Jada Streets over the middle deflected away. Streets, or stats rather, was hit as he threw it. And that is why we do not really throw the football a whole lot here with the Northern Colorado Bears. It's a little bit rough sometimes. Stats, not the most accurate quarterback in the world. But he can do this. He can run the football. Nice run up to the 30-yard line. And the Bears of Northern Colorado with 185 rushing yards tonight already. Let's 
going on, Noah? Glad to see you in the stream, buddy. Oh, look, the mods actually showed up this stream. I know they missed the record breaker last time. If they were here, it would have been uh, would have been 28 viewers. So hurtful, I know. Gavin Brady with a nice run. Second down and four now for Northern Colorado. All right. The stats. Oh, couldn't quite pitch it out to Tyler Rocky. He got wrecked on that one. My goodness. All right, they're down and one. Big play here for Northern Colorado. Started a rebuild of Arkansas. Nice. I like it. They could definitely use the help. And Gavin Brady up the middle. Watch out. The big fullback. Inside Brown territory to the 49. Trying to get Darius Mitchell his 1,000 yards on the season. Mitchell, one of our only juniors in the league. Here he goes. 1,000 yards for Darius Mitchell, I believe. Yes, he got it. He has exactly 1,000 yards on the season. 80 yards on three carries tonight. They don't have an answer for the speed in the backfield. It would be nice if Arkansas wasn't so terrible. I mean, no offense, but <laughs> it's been rough for them. He's double stack Rivers, and he walks into the end zone for the touchdown. 18-yard run. There's just so many halfbacks on this team. They, they have no answer for it. They can't stop him. Johnny Ligurski, freshman kicker, on for the extra point. Kick is up and good. And it is now 35-14 after a seven-play, 87-yard drive. Took just under two minutes off the clock. At least next season, Arkansas plays Arkansas Pine Bluff. <laughs> Should be an easy win. Should. Don't you count out the Golden Lions, all right? All right, let's go defense. Get another nice stop here, shall we? Okay, okay, Deacon. Nice return after the pick. His second of the night. And Northern Colorado about to open this game wide open, baby. Let's go. Nobody even got pressure on the quarterback. He just threw it up into triple coverage. Not sure what happened there. That's, that's, that's a bad pass. That's really rough. All right. Moving it right along now. That's looking to throw it. Pressure. Howard Bresnagale wide open over the middle up to the 11-yard line. I don't know where the secondary was. Howard Bresnagale is not a fast man, but he was all by himself. What could Brown do for you? Throw the game away? <laughs> hey, we're up to 25 viewers on the stream now, guys. Appreciate everybody stopping by. And here's Darius Mitchell. Just went over 1,000 yards rushing for the season. 
He is a junior, and he might end up going into the Elite Football League, our professional football league that we have in Madden 2006. So if he ends up declaring for the draft, I'll have to create him and put him on one of the teams. And here is Mitchell, and he's got a touchdown, his second of the night, first rushing. His other was a kick return for a score. My goodness. Uh, the record for viewers on a stream is 26, and we just tied it right there, Ray. You guys just keep surprising me with how many viewers we're getting right now. The official record is 26. That was my, uh, my stream stats that YouTube gave me after the last stream. It said 27 for like a split second, but we must have lost somebody as somebody else came in, so it only counted it as basically nobody left <laughs> and a nice kickoff from Ligurski and this defense has been playing pretty good other than some big passes to Smith who is over there on the right side of your screen lined up against Jada Streets who is a running back out here playing some corner trying to give this defense some speed and Deacon Cooper with a nice tackle on Harris Is Central Arkansas in this dynasty? No, sir, it is not. They were in the FCS tournaments that we had leading up to this series to decide who would make it in, but they ended up losing. Oh, I misplayed that one. But if you do want to see Central Arkansas in this game, you can go back and you can watch their games in our tournament. I also have a video on here for you to watch if you want to be able to create them yourself. It has all the information for them uniforms and whatnot oh I deflected that one quick all right we're getting exposure <laughs> I think we just need to have more likes on the videos because the, the more likes you get on a video you know the better chances it has of being seen by people in their recommendeds that are not subscribers they're down in 10 for Brown. Deep shot, left side. Tech there attracts, deflects it, and it's picked again. Deacon Cooper with another one. And he's returning it up the right side to the 28 yard line. Let's go, Deacon. Oh my goodness. Wow. You saw a YouTuber drop a video trying to copy? Who are they trying to copy, Ray? Me? What video they drop? <laughs> Shoot me a DM. I'll see it. All right, Deacon Cooper, player of the game right now, just absolutely destroying the Brown Bears. This is crazy. I'm not sure what their quarterback's doing, but I'm, I'm enjoying it. Quick pass over the middle. Jada Streets to midfield. Throw stats with a rocket for an arm on that pass. Wow. But back to the interception. Let's give some credit to uh, Jack Marius, Tech Theratrax, the freshman All-American for the deflection that led to that pick. Fantastic play by the young fella. All right, first down and 10. Darius Mitchell following some blocks. That was Will Jefferson, the right tackle, getting out there into the secondary. Mitchell over 100 yards tonight has six carries. They have no answer for him. Every time he touches the football, it is a big run. Cooper Bros remind you of the Bash Bros from Mighty Ducks. <laughs> That's a great comparison. I love it. All right, let's get this. Throw it up. Smokey Callahan, the tight end. Can't get there. Nicholas Hall in the chat. Appreciate you stopping by, man. Your game's coming up next after this stream, so stay tuned for that one, buddy. Big time game against these South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Should be a good one. All right, second down and 10 from the 36-yard line. Uh-oh. Smokey Callahan wide open. 
and he jukes a man out, and that is another touchdown for Northern Colorado. 36-yard dagger into the hearts of the Brown Bears. My goodness. Thrust Stats can throw it when he wants to. He just doesn't want to throw it very often. <laughs> it's a little rough. Can't even lie to you. But what a juke right there from the tight end who missed. He missed the majority of the season from injury. It's been really great to see him back out on the field. Johnny Ligurski's extra point is up and good. Full play, 72-yard drive after the Deacon Cooper interception. He's got the trifecta here tonight. The hat trick, if you will. Let's see if we can get him a fourth and tie the NCAA record. All right. Eight seconds left. Go some deep coverage here. Nearly 300 rushing yards in the first half so far for the Bears. Atkins deep shot over the middle, caught by Pruitt, and Deacon Cooper forced the fumble, and Jada Streets recovers it. Deacon Cooper, greatest player of all time. Write it down. Stamp it, double stamp it. What's up? My goodness. <laughs> wow. That is insane. Hail Mary, let's get it. Why not? This game is absolutely bonkers. There's Mitchell wide open. Dukes the man out. Oh, can't spin. Drop at the 24-yard line. Oh, it's a flag for holding anyway. Wow. That's going to be the end of the half. Northern Colorado on top. 49-14 to here against the Brown Bears in the Bear Bowl. Also known as the Insight Bowl. And this game has just been dominated by Deacon Cooper tonight and Darius Mitchell, who's got a kick return for a touchdown. Over 100 rushing yards on six carries. And now a reception for quite a few yards. And we get the ball to start the third quarter. And here is Mitchell on the return from the six-yard line. And Darius Mitchell dropped to the 29. 291 total yards for Darius Mitchell so far. That is crazy. They're probably going to give him player of the game because of all the yards. Four takeaways for the Brown Bears, or for the Northern Colorado Bears, of course. And here's Jada Streets into the secondary, running a man over, getting it up to the 49-yard line. Look at those rushing stats. If you do the rock, don't you worry, double stack, I got you. Everybody's eating here tonight. It's a buffet out here. I think every running back has a touchdown, if I'm not mistaken. And here's double stack again. Great block from Howard Bresnagale. Does he have the speed to get there? No, drop at the one. He's got 94 yards on four carries. My goodness. The front seven for Brown is getting dismantled here tonight. They just cannot seem to find the running backs at all. I got to go into the stats really quick to see which running backs have touchdowns and which don't. Double stack, Mitchell, Rocky, Streets. All right, Eric Tavares. He also has one. Okay, Gavin Brady. Let's get the fullback involved. You get a touchdown, and you get a touchdown. <laughs> Let's go. And there's Gavin Brady, every single subscriber, halfback, and fullback on the roster has a touchdown run here tonight. Now we'll work on the quarterbacks. <laughs> oh man, 
We lost all of our viewers. I mean, we're down to 14, which is still good, but still. <laughs> Nobody wants to see a blowout now. It was good in the first half for a little bit. We play 72-yard drive, 33 seconds off the clock. The ground game is just, it's unstoppable at this point. With three All-American offensive linemen, what can you do? And a nice kick from Ligurski. Not returnable. So it looks like Northern Colorado is going to win the Insight Bowl two seasons in a row. That's a pick for Bully Cooper. My goodness, he threw it right to me. Wow. What is he doing? <laughs> he literally threw that right to me. My goodness. You're just happy to see a subscriber team winning right now? Me too, man. Absolutely. Next game should be a lot closer. Southern Utah versus South Dakota State. I won't be playing that one. I'll just be commentating. Darrell Stats trying to get on the board on the ground game. Oh! Oh, he's down at the one-yard line. Stats over 1,000 rushing yards for the season. 1,075. Almost had another touchdown right here. Running over the corner. I want a different rushing, or I want a touchdown run by a different player every time. Let's get it. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Did you guys do anything special? I know a lot of you guys probably watched the XFL. A couple of nice games in there. And the real stats punches that in for another touchdown. For Northern Colorado, we got the 60 burger here tonight. You've created a total of 53 teams on Madden and NCAA. That's a pretty good number. Pretty good. I, I lost count of, I think I made 48. No, I made 53 schools for this series. So I made 48 for the tournaments. And I had already made the West Coast teams. And that was a bad kick by me because I'm thinking about other things right now. Um, yeah, I made 48 teams for the tournaments. All of the Pac-10 schools were already predetermined because there's not a whole lot of West Coast representation in the FCS. So... All of our Pac-10 schools, they were going to make it in no matter what. But I made 48 for the tournaments. And then I made 32 for uh, for the EFL. So 32 and 53. That is, what, 85? I made 85 teams altogether for the channel. Actually, 86 for the channel in total if you count my uh, Tampa Spartans dynasty in NCAA 14. That kind of died. Will Jefferson pancake the guy four times? Yeah, that defensive end is getting getting bullied a little bit. Listen, let's go. Oh, oh almost picked off again. Guess who? Deacon Cooper. My goodness. Brown, at this point, just looks like deer and headlights. It's the only description I can <laughs> really give you that could be accurate. And here is Darius Mitchell on for the punt return. And nice return. Taken down by the face mask. All right. It is just Northern Colorado's night. Ground attack is too nasty. Oh, boy. Bouncing around, still up. <laughs> Rivers gets back to the line of scrimmage. 
That was a really awkward play. And Double Stack is now tired. Second down and 11. I'm going to try to run some of this clock out. Or else it's going to be a million to 14. And he's Jada Street still going, carrying defenders up towards the sticks. 103 yards up the middle, 191 to the right, and 90 to the left so far. Goodness gracious. Offensive line is just too powerful. Way too powerful. And there's a look at all of the defensive linemen are bad players, according to that. Eric Tavares, juice to the outside. Nice block downfield, and Tavares to the 40-yard line. He's got 34 yards on three carries. I killed the stream by scoring too many points. That's what happened. <laughs> we were at 26, and we're down to 12. Only seven more games left in the season after this one. Of course, the national championship game should be one heck of a contest between the number one Dayton Flyers and the number three Savannah State Tigers. A lot of people thought that Savannah State was going to end up in the championship game last season. They lost to Bryant. Ended up in the Gator Bowl against Princeton. And they've been playing with a chip on their shoulder this whole year ever since. Alright, third down and six now. Let's give it off to old Tyler Rocky. Hasn't got a carry in a while. Hopefully he's still in the chat. <laughs> and there's Tyler. Picks up a couple yards up the middle. There's another pancake on the right side of the line. Fourth down and two. Let's kick a field goal. Let's give Johnny Ligurski a shot here at a 49-yarder. Two-star freshman kicker. He's had a pretty good year. And I don't think I had the accuracy on that. Maybe I did. Johnny Ligurski with a 49-yarder. Let's get it. I can focus on the Falcons and Tar Heels. Absolutely, Tyler. I'm looking forward to getting back into those ones. We're going to go and finish up uh, the first season for Atlanta first. And then we'll get back into the Tar Heels as well. And then we'll do the Making Knights franchise for the Arena Football League as well. So we'll have three series going all at once. And I'm going to sprinkle some other games in there during the offseason for the FCS and the EFL. Harris on the run. Deacon Cooper misses the tackle. And Double Stack Rivers brings him down. Got some NFL street that I've been just dying to play on the channel. So I'll definitely be playing some of that. Just haven't had really like a good opportunity to play it. But so focused on this series and, and doing the making nights as well. All right, second down and one for Brown. They're down by a million. Deep shot, and I can't get there. Harold's too fast. That's a touchdown as Brown finally strikes back. Seemed like forever ago when they scored last. It's too much speed from the slot guy. Had an 08 rebuild of Cincinnati. Okay. Bengals are always fun to rebuild because, I mean, they're always, they're just always not good. What made me choose these 12 schools over the ones from the tournament? 
Just whoever lost in the tournaments, they didn't advance. That's all it was, man. That was not a good kick. Howard Bresnik got his own nine-yard line. And he's not very fast. Gets it up to his 23. All righty. 549 yards of offense for the Bears of Northern Colorado. 302 for Brown. And we're going to set up the screen here. Darius Mitchell. Juking everybody up to the 31-yard line. You have it updated with 2019 rosters. Nice. All right, Eric Tavares in the backfield behind freshman quarterback Aiden Davis. The four-star quarterback. Tavares is dropped short of the sticks. That's going to be the final play of the third quarter, folks. Get your fours up in the chat. Got 87 points in this ball game so far tonight. Or in the Colorado, 63-21 for the Brown Bears here in the Insight Bowl. Northern Colorado going to improve to 8-5 on the season with this win. Unless something crazy happens. Just imagine if Northern Colorado had a passing attack. Darius Mitchell gets the first down. 21 first downs for Northern Colorado. 10 for Brown. And they've had some explosive plays on their offense. A lot of good passing plays, but the turnovers is really what turned this game around and, and really hurt the Brown Bears altogether. Deacon Cooper just took over the entire game. Well, stats on the option picks up about seven. 422 rushing yards tonight. For Northern Colorado. And still, that is not the most that we've seen in this series. Tyler Rocky getting a carry. Oh, Gavin, you should have had that block. Look at the rushing numbers. Nobody even has double-digit carries yet in the game. I'm going to give Tyler Rocky this whole drive. Let's see what the young fella can do. game was basically over in the second quarter. But like I said, all the takeaways from Deacon Cooper really is, is the biggest difference in this game. If Brown was able to hold on to the football in those drives, this game would probably be a lot closer. Second down and seven. And here's Darrell Stats on the option. Pitches it out. Tyler Rocky. And he's down to the 12-yard line. Good run for the freshman as he gets the century mark tonight. 103 yards on five carries. Wow. Brown just does not have the speed take out this rushing attack. Your PS2 is your Valentine? <laughs> wow. Well, stats up the middle, untouched for the score. And Northern Colorado has the 70-burger tonight.
Johnny Ligurski on for the extra point. Pick is up and good. It's 73 to 21. American Jack Marius attack their tracks. Waiting on Deacon Cooper to tie the NCAA record for picks in a game. Oh, nice catch for Sharp. Jade Streets just kept on backpedaling. <laughs> Let's go with some cover one. Let's get it. I'm going to cover the half back here with Bully Cooper. And nice tackle by Eric Taveras on the half back. Their backup quarterback with 103 yards, touchdown, and a pick tonight. They took Brown out after he threw his 20th pick for the game. By doing a double header tonight? Absolutely. Our next game after this stream is the number 21 Southern Utah Thunderbirds, 10 and 2 on the season, taking on the 8 and 5 Big 12 runner ups, or runners up, however you say it, the South Dakota, South Dakota State Jackrabbits. Should be a fun game. I don't have to play it, so I can just commentate, do my thing, and have a good old time. Wow, what a hit by Deacon Cooper. My goodness. This guy is such a killer. All right, quarterback draw with a pocket passer. I respect it. First down. See what they can do here from our 44 yard line. They get a loss. And that was non subscriber player. I think it was Dargan on the stop. Loss of two for Brown. Oh, user! Get that block. Get the block. Let's go. Let's go, Bully. Let's go. That is now five interceptions in this game for the Cooper brothers. Five. That's crazy. <laughs> that is insane. They just keep throwing right to me, man. Double stack Rivers. What a block from Howard Bresnigale. And there's a touchdown for the big fella. My goodness, I don't know what that linebacker was doing. Just staring into the backfield, even though the running back is running right past him. Ligurski's extra point is up and good, and we hit the 80 mark. 80 to 21. In the insight bowl. Feels bad. Feels good though. And a nice kick dropped in the end zone by Pruitt. EFL talent right there. There's a whole bunch of EFL talent here on the Bears. Their entire offensive line, their safeties, a couple running backs. Wow, 
There's a sack for the defense. That's Ace White, her first sack of the game. And she comes through unblocked. Oh my goodness. Second down and 12 now after the sack. And Miller gets maybe four yards. Dargan on the stop. I wish his name was Dragon, but it's not. Round three of eight tonight on third downs. Third and nine here. And that is dropped by the slot receiver, Ace White, in the coverage. My goodness. Twenty left in the ball game. Double stack. Rivers gets another carry. Dropped by the face mask. Face mask on the double stack is a little gassed right now. He does play some linebacker as well. Again, up the middle this time. Breaking loose. He's tired, though. Oh, down to the 11. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He's at 147 yards tonight on eight carries. Boy, oh, boy. Davis on the option, and Aiden Davis fumbles the football. <laughs> oh my goodness. All these running backs don't fumble the football. We let Aiden Davis get a carry, and he fumbles on his first carry. The man wasn't even tackled. How you fumble it standing up, man? All right, let's get a safety. Let's go. Bully Cooper with the pick six. Both Cooper brothers have three picks apiece. Where are you throwing that, my guy? Get out of my face. Wow. <laughs> Unbelievable. They just keep throwing it. I mean, I know you're losing, but just run the clock out. I bet you they're going to keep throwing it, too. Which Cooper brother's going to get four? Come on. Aw, they ran it. What can Brown do for you? They can lose really bad. That's... <laughs> yes, yes, they can. 
And Bully Cooper steals player of the game from his brother Deacon Cooper because he had a pick six. Feels bad. That's the game, folks. 87-21. The Cooper Twins go off against the Brown Bears. And Northern Colorado, they are your Insight Bowl champions. Two straight seasons for them. And they are 8-5. and five. Brown falls to eight and four, I believe. Not a bad season for Brown. They did really well in the Ivy League, also known as the, the Big East. But my goodness, this ground attack was just so nasty. 541 yards rushing for Northern Colorado. 687 total on offense. Sacked one, no, no times, actually. One sack for the Northern Colorado Bears. Six interceptions, all by the Cooper Twins. Wow. And the game was uh, pretty much over right here. It was done. <laughs> Every running back scored a rushing touchdown tonight. I tried to get Aiden Davis a touchdown run as well, but he just didn't want it. He decided to fumble it inside the five-yard line. Stats with a great game passing. Don't say that very often. Three running backs go over 100 yards rushing for the night. Everybody has touchdowns except for Aiden Davis. Why do you do this to me? Gets a broken tackle and fumbles on the broken tackle. Like, what is your deal, bruh? Mitchell, 53 yards receiving. Streets with 22. Smokey Callahan, 36 and a touchdown. Bresengale with 27. All these players are all subscriber players. Heath, 12 pancakes. Jefferson with eight. He was the best offensive lineman of the year. Sebastian Hernandez with six. He was the Remington Award winner. Just so hard to do anything against this O-line. Cooper Brothers, both with five tackles. Both with three picks. Deacon with a forced fumble. And Bully with a pick six on the night and attack for a loss. Ace White had the sack. Cooper Twins almost identical stats. Just insane. <laughs> Jada Streets with a fumble recovery. Ligurski one of one, long of 50. 12 of 12 extra points. 13 kickoffs, six touchbacks for the freshman. No punts tonight. Darius Mitchell with a 94-yard kick return for a touchdown and 12 yards on punt returns. My goodness, what a game. So many crazy highlight plays. All receivers are players of the game for Brown. Uh, Bully Cooper, Darius Mitchell, Deacon Cooper, players of the game for Northern Colorado, your Insight Bowl champions. There is the trophy for UNC and head coach Michael Topps. Two years straight. My goodness. Well, that is going to do it for this stream. Stick around. In about 5 to 10 minutes, I'll be starting number 21 Southern Utah versus South Dakota State in the Holiday Bowl. I hope to see you guys there in a few minutes. Until then, take it easy, guys.